All right, guys, the time has finally come. You can see behind me, I have the tractor and we are going to a place to get the tractor dynoed. We're gonna put it on a PTO dyno and that way we can finally figure out just what horsepower we're actually making. There's so many things on the forms, so much guessing. We don't know, it's, it's almost seat of the pants horsepower. And now we are going to finally figure out what the actual horsepower is and also try to give you the best baseline tune that anyone can do with their house with what data that I've compiled. Um, obviously, I'm gonna spend at least two hours um, for the dyno, but it's whatever. If it helps out people, then it's worth doing. And I'm obviously helping myself, so it's a win-win. So I will get you a video once we're all hooked up and running, and let's see what we got. Should be good. We did a baseline pull. We're gonna go full throttle and then we're gonna do a max load. actually going to bump it to 2200 rpms because that's where every single guy runs it at 2200 rpms saying 670 on the pto and we're gonna do a full load test okay uh, it's probably around 16 16 to uh, you know point two yeah, you're good on EPT, Tim, so you can keep loading her up. We got a lot of torque in that uh, in that range. Shit is making more horsepower and torque right now than it was at that higher RPM. Where, where are you at? I can tell. 1100. All kind of dirty. Ten percent load. Burning clean. Eight hundred degrees. Twenty two hundred RPMs. And now let's see what full throttle does. Drop horsepower? Gain, gain. Gain, gain, gain. okay. So me and all the guys can pretty much conclude that one full turnout on the fuel screw is pretty much where you need to be. I'll tell you why. Uh, at 10% load at both 2200 and 25 to 2600 RPMs, uh, we were burning super clean. 10% uh, load, 
both RPM settings stock and bumped. We were rolling no coal out that exhaust and our EGT temps were rated 800 and they would not climb any further. It was actually a, a hair below eight, I believe. If EGTs uh, were creeping higher under 10% load and we were starting to roll a little coal, then I'd say we have a problem here. The guys in the dyno said they saw a peak number of 27 horsepower. Um, I saw 25 in the video. Again, that's under a super high load. Now at this point, this tractor cannot kill anymore unless you just absolutely stop it with like a log or something. It's an absolute tank. With that being said, you have to watch your EGT temps now because we were pulling into the 12. Now we were trying to actually kill this engine on the dyno. We were load testing it to an absolute max. This is a serious dyno right here. And uh, overall, I can say huge purple power. Before the dyno, the seat of the pants dyno already told me the shoe's running strong. Now I hope this data can help you guys who want to modify your tractor and really bring it to the potential that it had just a few years ago in the older models that were pre-emission because it's really dogged down. So if you like this video, smash that like button. I always appreciate it. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.